Welcome back to DVC Weekly. This is episode 88. My name is Jason Erpelding. I'm the broker of Buy and Sell DVC. I'm here with Scott Ferrioli. I'm the owner of DVC-Rental.com and BuyAndSellDVC.com. And the, so the 11-month window is going to be September 12, 2023. And your seven-month window is going to be May 12, uh, 2023. Remember, you can find us here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Uh, we have a Facebook group uh, anywhere. You can find us anywhere that you need us, really. And again, that Facebook group is Disney Vacation Club Resales DVC. So just do a search for Disney Vacation Club Resales and it'll pop up right away. Jo- join our group. It's got, I don't know, 19, 20,000 people right now. It's, it's a really fun group and very informative. So please join in and feel free to always ask questions. And uh, we're going to start on the buy and sell DVC side of things. And I just want to mention, uh, you know, everyone, all the staff is safe from Hurricane Ian. All the staff that we work with at the different closing companies, everyone's safe. We've... I have a seller that we're dealing with in Fort Myers. They're safe. That's so uh, so uh, everything is, uh, you know, we're trying to get back to normal here. I know there's some parts. I mean, this was really quite the storm. It really affected yeah. uh, most parts of Florida. Like normally, you know, a hurricane comes, knocks down some trees, people lose power. This one really uh, affected a lot of cities. Yeah, so, and it's especially, I mean, it, luckily it didn't hit us too badly. But the people, for the people who are following, you know, it just went up the coast and then just cut right across and just, right over Orlando and all of us. So luckily by the time it hit us, it was down to like a, a category one. So it wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. And I just want to mention in regards to hurricanes and traveling, I, I really, I just, I, I want to mention that this is just my opinion, of course, but if you're going to rank the 12 months that you're going to come to Orlando or really the 12 months to me that you're going to vacation anywhere on the East Coast, I would put September as your 12th choice. Um, I will tell you, I have a one son, one son with the birthday 9-6, another son with the birthday 9-15. One of my son's friend's birthday is 9-14. They're 13 and 11 now, and I feel like the whole time has been trying to plan different birthday parties based on the storms that are coming in. So. Uh, September is typically the month that you're going to have the worst of the storms. So that's why I would say rank it as your, uh, you know, on the, on the, as a 12th month. Now, if you're coming to Disney, now I will say when a hurricane comes to Florida, typically the people from the East Coast, people from the West Coast, they're coming to Disney. They're coming to book their rooms. They know that if they're in the middle of the state, they're going to be protected. They're going to have electricity, you know, and I mean, there's, I mean, I have friends that are, you know, within a mile of my house that go to Disney because, you know, they, Disney does, they, you know, they have the arcade games, the characters in the lobby. I mean, the the last hurricane, we went to Disney as well. We didn't this time, but the last one we did, because I was told that all of the buildings on Disney property are built to withstand a, a category five hurricane and the windows are rated for category four. I figured if anything happened, you know, at least you know that there's security there. You know, anything could happen. Like, if, say, you just even you're sick and you're in your house, there's not much you could do. They've got EMS teams there and they've got security and they can get the cops there easily. And they've got food and, you know, they've got backup generators and they're providing entertainment, keeping the kids so they're not scared. And Disney's an absolute great place to be. You know, if, if you, unfortunately, if you have to deal with a hurricane, you know, there's barely a better place out there to be than Disney. That's 100% correct. Like, if you take the state of Florida, and there's a hurricane coming, your number one priority, that place you want to be is Disney. Yeah. That's just, it's the bottom line. For, for, so, for safety and then again for the ease of everything. And again, especially if you've got kids, Disney goes out of their way to, to help out with the kids. And I'm actually going to touch on a little stuff later on about that stuff as well. But yeah. Fantastic. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, and then I, I just want to like, I don't know. I mean, obviously there's millions of, uh, you know, news out there with things, but like the convention center is where they usually, you know, they stage a lot of things. Like, you know, they showed, I think they had 300 different EMS vehicles there, you know, ready to go. So, uh, you know, this is the central location for us to then, you know, send everybody help from here. So if you're coming, if if you are gonna vacation in September, um, just know, you know, you will be safe at Disney, but again, it could be, 
you know, where you're indoors for a few days. So, um, but things, again, they, they carry on. Disney was closed a couple of days. Um, but for the most part, uh, everything was fine. And Florida will get back to rebuilding, especially those areas like, uh, you know, Fort Myers and uh, Sanibel Island. So I uh, just wanted to touch base. And again, uh, hopefully uh, everyone that's watching this is safe and everything as well from the hurricane. So now we're on to the uh, food review. It's going to be hard to follow up that with the food review, but roll the well, tape. I mean, it's just, <laughs> and I just want to mention, I mean, it's one thing is, is like, it's really cool to see the, you know, all of Florida come together to help each other out. Yeah. Like, there, I mean, I see that there was a lot of UCF students that got flooded out of apartments, lost their cars, and then you have other people, you know, trying to help out those students, and then you got students down at Florida Gulf Coast that are out for like 10 days, and they're helping in the community. So it's, uh, you know, unfortunately sometimes, you know, tragedies can bring you together, and, and, you, and you can't look at the big picture. You just kind of, you know, like, start with cleaning up your neighborhood, your area, and just go from there, and we can get back to normal. Yeah, it's, it's, it stinks that sometimes it takes tragedies like this to bring communities together, but it's, it's nice to see it when it does happen, though. Absolutely. All right, now there's no great way to follow that up, so <laughs> Ty, roll the tape, let's do the food of the week. Come here, I'm gonna eat ya! Get in my belly! So for this food of the week, um, we had checked out a brand new place we had gone to never before, um, Rick's Sports Bar, which is at Coronado Springs. Um, I have to say that we went to Coronado Springs, really, really beautiful resort. I mean, inside, like, nice big lobby. It was really, I was, I was impressed considering, you know, it's a moderate. It was, it was really well done in there, very, very nice. Um, Rick Sports Bar and Grill, relaxed atmosphere, you know, some TVs up alongside so you could watch it. It's in an open lobby area, um, so it's not really like enclosed. So, you know, you can be sitting there and you're watching people like walking by and there's other restaurants nearby. But the one the main thing I wanted to try out was the Wachos, which is a waffle fries that they make like nachos. So they have seasoned wa waffle fries, which I, I really do appreciate that they, they were seasoned and not just regular waffle fries. So it's a, it a plate just loaded up with, you know, um, seasoned waffle fries, and then covered with uh, queso blanco cheese, bacon, and scallions. So it's absolutely terrible for you. Really, really good. Um, it's $15. Um, a lot of times when you go get nachos, they give you a, like a small amount of cheese. Or, this was just completely covered and dripping, ton, tons of cheese on it. Um, I was surprised with how generous Disney was with their serving size and, and with the amount of cheese and everything. I give this an 8.1. I would definitely get this again. Again, not really good for you, but I, I, I would definitely go with this again. And in, in a couple, I think in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing an, another one because I did a, normally when we go someplace, you know, my wife and I will share a couple things so we can do a couple things for the review. I've got something coming up shortly. Not quite as good as these wachos. And is Coronado, mm -hmm. is this still a big uh, like uh, convention? Yes, yeah, that's okay. where they have the convention center. So they do a lot of conventions there. So a lot of times, a lot of people feel that it's like Disney is least Disney resort. Because again, there's a lot of convention people. So we didn't see a lot of this. But a lot of times you'll see people walking around with shirts and ties or you know name badges and stuff because they have, an, they have a convention there. So a lot of people think that that kind of brings them out of the Disney magic. So it does kind of get that rap, but I mean, it was a beautiful hotel. But if your work sends you there, you might be uh, checking out the, the watch house. Yeah, if, you, if you're lucky enough to have your work sends you there, yeah, that's, a, that's a pretty great work because you're on Disney property. And again, yeah, definitely check these out. C cool atmosphere. Again, sports bar is always fun. And again, it, it's Disney themed, so it's not a sports bar, you know. I don't know what it's like at, you know, one o'clock in the morning. We went during lunchtime. There weren't a ton of people there, and it was absolutely fantastic. We, we enjoyed it a lot. I'll definitely do that again. And now we're on to the DVC uh, dash rental side of things. Sides, well, I can't even talk. Easy for you to say, man. DVC <laughs> dash rental side of things. Remember the dash, save the cash. There we go. <laughs> um, I wanted to touch, based on what Jason said with a lot of the, the hurricane stuff, I wanted to touch on some of the DVC resort closures. This is the first time that I've ever seen, besides when COVID, when Disney you know, shut, shut down their hotels and everything shut down for a while, this is the first time that Disney actually shut down the resorts. That they they had it so you had to check in by three p.m. on Wednesday, and anybody who was checking in on Thursday morning, they weren't allowing you to check in. I have never seen Disney do that, 
Unfortunately, that affected several families that we had of ours checking in. Luckily, we didn't have a large amount that happened to be checking in that date, thank goodness. But, you know, we, it's just right now just trying to work with people to try to get them to get rescheduled. Um, Disney said that they weren't going to have any issues. They were allowing rescheduling and stuff like that. However, when points were expiring, like we had um, a family or two where the points were expiring on September 30th, Disney is not doing anything about that. So even though they were closed on check-in, they're not allowing, as of right now, any extensions on anything. I really hope that they change their minds because we did have a family or two affected by that. But, you know, we can only do as much as Disney does. So if Disney doesn't allow any extensions and, and, and just kills the points, you know, unfortunately, there's not much we could do. I don't know why Disney wouldn't be accommodating considering it was their decision to not have the resort open. Again, they've never done that before, so really surprising. Um, for the people who were staying on property, uh, I, I know, and, and I run into this when I was at I was at Wilderness Lodge during the last hurricane. Disney tries to go out of their way to help you, and they've got again, they've got characters out, they've got activities, they've got DJs and dancing, and the restaurants are more than like fifty percent off. Like I had a friend who happened to be trapped at Animal Kingdom, and Boma, which is normally fifty dollars a person, they were charging twenty dollars per person. So, I mean, so it's, it's a great deal. Disney knows people are, in, I won't say in trouble, but they're trapped there. They've got limited options. Disney goes out of their way to try to help you. They try to entertain you. They try to give you discounted foods to make sure that it's, you know, so that's maybe out of people's budget a little bit. You know, Boma is a fantastic restaurant. $50 a person is, can, is, a, is tough for a buffet. But to drop that down for $20 a person, so pretty much every family can afford to go and have an amazing meal at Boma, is just really, really cool on Disney's part, so... Just wanted to thank Disney for that. Mentioned some of the closures, trying to figure out Disney's shutting down everything. But that's ba that's basically I had yeah, on one thing. Was, I just thought of. I'm just gonna. Have you been on a cruise at all in September when a hurricane comes or no? Have you? Last two years ago. Two years ago, um, for my parents' 50th anniversary cruise, they were they flew in from Long Island, and my my brothers did as well. And that's a funny story. They, they did as well, and it was a three day cruise. And like the night beforehand, they let, this was a Disney cruise, um, this was Royal Caribbean, they let everybody know that because we're gonna be trying to skirt around the hurricane, the three day cruise was possibly and probably going to go longer. So my brother had to be back at work, he was like hosting a golf tournament for Coca-Cola, like on, you know, on whatever that Monday it was. So he, he flew in at night, that, the next morning, you know, we woke up, Drove to, we were driving to the, to the port, had to make a pit stop at the airport, drop him and his wife off, and they had to go back home and skip the cruise because he couldn't bail out on it, not knowing if we were gonna get back in time. And our three-day cruise ended up being a six-day cruise. So, worked out pretty well for us. I mean, for, for, I mean besides Disney, as, as lo, all the cruise ships that they've said in the past, you know, they're able to get around the storms, they can go faster, and cruise ship, Pretty good place that you, you would think the cruise ship would be absolutely horrible in a hurricane, but they just avoid the areas that get the hurricane. They go around it, and sometimes you get a couple extra days. You, you pay for three days, you get six days of food and six days of entertainment. Not a bad place for cruises. So for yeah, hurricanes as well. So we did a cruise and then, and they're empty. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were at like like twenty percent occupancy, so there's barely anybody there and extra stuff. I mean, I should, I should next time a, a hurricane might be coming, I might purposely schedule a cruise once people start bailing out. So yeah, I mean, we similar experience. I mean, you end up just like if you're scheduled to go here, here, and here, you're just gonna go to wherever it's safe. <laughs> exactly. So, they they if, changed our itinerary yeah. completely. They're like, we're supposed to go in the Bahamas. That's not a good idea. Right. Now we're going to Mexico. <laughs> so I know people that that you know they schedule those cruises knowing that it's just first of all the cruises in September are generally you know much less expensive than the cruises in June, July. And it's just a roll of the dice. You might get a longer cruise. You might go to totally different places. So, uh, but yeah, those are safe as well because they just completely avoid the hurricane. Yeah. So, especially this hurricane because this hurricane was so slow. <laughs> you know, we were, I'm sure you were watching the, watching the news on TV and going, "All right, when is it coming?" Like it's 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 going eight miles an hour right now, and you're like, "Oh gosh, it's just," which is terrible for a hurricane because it means it's just going slow and more destruction as it's going. Sometimes they go quickly. This thing just dragged its feet the whole time. Yeah, and I mean, I think you had to hear the word bands 
<laughs> you know, like a million times, this band, this band. The outer band's going to be getting yeah. you here, and this band's going to be bringing heavy rain, and it has a lot of bands. <laughs> and there was no Aerosmith or anything. Exactly. exactly. So uh, thanks for watching. Again, we hope everyone's safe. And uh, please tune in, and be, be sure to hit the like button, and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Definitely, please make sure you do it. We, we release this on both the DVC rental page and the buy and sell page. We're trying to get Jason out of this tie. Some, let's get him before Christmas if we can. Uh, please, again, so go on the buy and sell page and definitely make sure you subscribe to that one. That one's greatly appreciated. Thank, Thank you very much. much.